when you feel the world is over when you say you're feeling this is Med Made Easy here. We're going to talk about the antibiotic azithromycin. It's a very common medication. You've probably heard of it and seen it before. In this video, I want to go over some quick tips since this medication is so common. You can see here a list of the different things that it treats. You've probably commonly seen it treated for pneumonia, specifically community acquired pneumonia, COPD, and all the others that you see here. There is a lot of resistance that we've seen with azithromycin, so that we're seeing it used a little bit less. Here are a couple of the other antibiotics that are in the same family, erythromycin and clarithromycin. You've probably heard of these as well. And then briefly, these are some of the common, most common side effects that you'll see with this medication. A lot of these things in this video, including the side effects, are going to apply to other um, antibiotics in the macrolide class. So let's begin with our tips. Tip number one. Tip number one. Azithromycin can actually cause arrhythmias. It's increased in patients who are elderly um, and also if they already have some kind of existing cardiac arrhythmia or if they have a history of QT prolongation or if there's any other drugs that increase the risk for that. Sometimes if they also have low potassium levels or magnesium, that can also increase the risk for arrhythmia when they are on azithromycin. There are also certain medications that they have to be very careful because if you're on azithromycin, you take things like Sotalol or amiodarone, and that can increase your risk for arrhythmias as well. Moving on to tip number two, azithromycin should be taken on an empty stomach because if not, it may decrease the absorption. And typically, you want to take it at least one hour before food or two hours after the meal. Tip number three. Now, this is an extremely important one about myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis is a condition where basically it's a chronic autoimmune neuromuscular disease and these individuals will have flares or conditions where they'll get very weak and even can cause issues where their respiratory um, status begins to decline. So these individuals have to avoid certain kind of medications and this is one of them. Tip number four. If you take azithromycin with antacids, specifically antacids that contain aluminum and magnesium, this may decrease the absorption of the azithromycin. So you definitely want to separate it at least by two hours. Tip number five. Now this is one that a lot of people don't realize about azithromycin, is that it can actually cause sensitivities from the sun, with the potential to cause a severe skin reaction. So basically you want to tell the patients to wear long sleeve clothing and or sunscreen. The final tip, tip number six that you need to know, is that azithromycin can actually cause liver issues. So basically what you want to know here, be aware of, is if someone already has a history of liver disease, or if you see their liver enzymes are elevated already and they're in the hospital, azithromycin may not be the best choice. Of course, the on-call provider, doctor, or nurse practitioner, or physician's assistant should be notified of this. That's it for the tips for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, Med Made Easy, for more great medical information. And also hit the thumbs up video if you like this kind of video so we know to make more. And also hit the notification bell so you can get the latest video as they're uploaded. Alright guys, until next time.